And one week after Dr. William Hyde announced he will not be renewing his contract with the Philadelphia School District, school board members are already now delving into finding his replacement. I spoke exclusively today with the school board president about what they're looking for in a new leader and also how the public will help to guide their search. It's a process we're excited to launch. The process of finding a new superintendent to lead the Philadelphia School District is about to kick into high gear. Superintendent Dr. William Hyde announced last week that he will be leaving at the end of his contract in August of 2022, after nearly a decade. The average tenure for a major city superintendent is only two to three years. We sat down with Board of Education President Joyce Wilkerson in an exclusive interview to discuss the selection process, first step in gauging the public in multiple information sessions. We're going to have 17 listening sessions over 18 days. We're going to have the search firm hired by the end of this month um, and hope to begin getting resumes from potential candidates by November. She says public input and transparency will help to guide the search for the person who will step into leading the fourth largest public school district in the country, battling aging infrastructure, an ongoing pandemic, and student academic challenges. We're going to be looking for superintendents that are effective communicators. We have a really diverse community in Philadelphia. Each neighborhood is different from the one next to it. And so we want somebody who's going to engage with the public. A professional search firm will help direct school board members to qualified candidates both nationally and locally. We know we have wonderful educators in Philadelphia. And so while we're casting the net broadly, we're going to also be very receptive to local candidates. The Board of Education hopes to have Dr. Hyde's successor selected by April, intentionally creating overlap for a smooth transition. I'm nervous about the transition. I'm excited about bringing in a different set of eyes to look at the challenges we have. Well, the school board will hold its first listening session on Monday, October 11th at noon in partnership with the Urban League of Philadelphia. 16 others will take place over 18 days. Now, students, parents, teachers, and community leaders are all encouraged to attend both in person or virtually, if you like. For a link to more information on where and when these meetings will be taking place, just go to our website, cbsphilly.com.